All right. The affirmative is stating that Assad, what Assad did with chemical weapons is illegal and should not go unpunished. But it is not America's job only to uh, be, uh, police the world. Through the UN and uh, other our allies and uh, the UN could uh, set up treaties to get Assad's weapons out of there to avoid more uh, less bloodshed and less U.S. tax dollars going to waste. Um, uh, most of our allies, uh, American allies, are against attacking Syria. Great Britain didn't want to go. Uh, only France was the one that w w was semi okay with attacking. Um, the affirmative said that the um, that it will. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Affirmative says that uh, if we don't attack, basically more, uh, it will be more likely that chemical weapons use will happen. But through different kinds of treaties and uh, um, uh, getting the chemical weapons out of Syria, uh, Assad will not be able to use his weapons again, and it will. Uh, decrease the chances of a uh, strike killing innocents and uh, uh, a nuclear problem have from happening. Um, one second. Put the pen down. Quick Sorry. Driving in yeah, I, I do that to you. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, our evidence actually shows that uh, the Assyrian army and Syria allies like Hezbollah might actually counterattack with our revenge for our strikes. Therefore, more Americans are at risk, and not only our military might be uh, at risk, but people at the homeland might be at risk because Syria uh, uh, terrorist groups like Hezbollah might be able to attack American soil. Uh, uh, the affirmative has not been able to show that there's been a significant problem that we should attack Syria. Um, Yeah, that's all I have. I'm sorry. You don't have to bother. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, now, Basil, it is time for the 1AR. And now you should have a 1AR.